Here's a fun puzzle. This is the typical way to swap two ints, but can you swap the two ints A and B without using a third temporary variable? Yes, with the bitwise XOR. How does it work? The first thing to learn is anything XORed with itself gives zero. This is because bitwise XOR outputs zero when the two input bits are the same, and one when they are different. A variable XORed with itself will have the two input bits the same in every position, resulting in zero for all positions. Likewise, a variable XORed with zero just retains its original value. You can examine the truth table and confirm that that is true. Now we can go through the code. Firstly, we set A equal to A XOR B. Now A holds the original values of A and B XOR together. I'm going to put little subscript zeros there to remind you this is the original value of A and B. Then we set B equal to A XOR B. But remember, A currently stores A XOR B from the first line. So B equals A XOR B XOR B. From about 10 seconds ago, I told you anything XORed with itself gives zero. So this B XOR B part cancels and we are left with B equals A XOR zero, which is just the original value of A. Now in the final line, we said A equal to A XOR B. Remember, A currently stores the original values of A XOR B, and B currently stores the original value of A. This leaves A XOR B XOR A. Since XOR is commutative, this can be written as A XOR A XOR B. The A's cancel from the XOR, leaving zero XOR B, which is just the original value of B. Swap them, and not a third variable in sight.